On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily change the colors of your image using the hue saturation adjustment layer. This is quick and easy, so stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily change colors in your image with the hue saturation adjustment layer. I'll be changing colors in three different images just so you really can grasp this concept and how easy it is to do. But we're going to start out with this one. What I want to do in this image is change the color of the coat. Let's go ahead and grab a hue saturation adjustment layer. We're going to come right down here and click and let's get the hue saturation adjustment. So click it here and you'll notice it up here. Now you notice I have this eyedropper tool. If you don't see that, just come up here to the menu and make sure you have auto select targeted adjustment tool selected, okay? And then you're gonna get this. And what we're gonna do, I wanna change the colors of the coat. So I'm gonna click on this coat and I'm gonna click right here and sample the color in, color in the coat. Now you'll notice it used to say master, now it says reds, so it has targeted red tones. And these are the tones that is targeted right here. Now, if I take this hue slider and I start to drag it, you'll notice the colors of that coat and any red type color will change. The tint will change on it, okay? So I can come and as I slide this slider, you see the tint of red is changing. Well, then let's change the coat to the color that we want. And I'm thinking maybe like a blue color, maybe something like that. Now, I can come here and adjust the lightness of the coat as well. Give it more saturation or less saturation. How about a little bit less saturation, maybe a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit more saturation, maybe right like that. Now, we have a problem because the coat is blue, but then again, we have a lot of blue around the coat as well, and we don't want that. But look, we do have a layer mask here, so we can utilize this layer mask. So what we can do now is take this layer mask and we can invert it. So that's Command or Control I for the shortcut to invert it. Make sure you're on it, Command or Control I, and that inverts it. And now we can take a brush uh, with black, with not black paint actually, because the mask is black hiding everything with white paint. And if you don't have black and white swatches here, just hit D for default. You'll change the black and white swatches. And, and then if you don't have white type X and you'll flip these swatches around and then make sure you have a brush tool. It's B is a shortcut for the brush tool. And I'm going to make sure I have a opacity of hundred percent. And then what I can do is simply just paint on this coat really quickly just like this now anything in there's red will turn will turn blue so if i go in this bag right here see that turns blue if i go to the opposite color paint white type x and i can you know fix that right back up so i'm going to go ahead and continue to paint on this coat really quickly here and make my brush a little bit smaller and just come down in here and just do a really quick job of it. I'm just going to go fast, but take your time and get it right. Okay, so I'll make the brush a little bit smaller and just fix this little area that I missed here and here. And I think I missed a little spot right in here. Missed a little spot down in here, so make sure you get that. If you paint on her hand, switch to black paint and paint that off and then switch back to white paint and continue painting the coat just till you uh, get it all filled in. Now I got to watch over in this area because there's some red that'll turn blue if I get over in there. I can get on the black area. It's not going to hurt anything. And the gray areas over here, it's not going to hurt anything. And then I can just come up here and paint away. And again, if I get onto her hand because it's got some red tint in it, and all I got to do is switch over to black paint and make my brush smaller and just paint that off. And just make sure you got it painted well. And don't forget, you can always zoom in. Whoops, I overpainted there. Let me go ahead and zoom in. You know, you can always zoom in and, you know, make sure you're getting it, getting everything. But take your time and get it right. See, I missed a little spot over in here so I can come in here and paint that in. And maybe right here I missed a little spot as well. So you can go around and look at your coat and make sure you didn't miss anything. Like I missed something here, here. You can use your quick selection tool to get this too, whichever way you feel comfortable. Sometimes it's just as easy for me just to paint this stuff. But other times I'll use a, a selection tool if I need to. 
But, oh, here's a little spot I missed right here. There you go. Now let me, oh, and down here's another little spot I missed. Make sure I get them all. Just so it looks right. So let me go ahead and zoom back out. And now we can see here is the before and here is the after. And just like that, we were able to fix this code up. And I missed a little spot right over here. Now, let me show you something important. We were just painting on this layer mask with white paint, right? So if we need to come and change this color again, this is what we have to do. Uh, click on the actual adjustment itself. And you notice right now we're on master. We don't want to change the color in master. We want to come and click this drop down and come back to reds because reds red was the color we altered. And here's our adjustments in here. So if you wanted to change the colors, you would have to come in here to do it. And also while we're in here, this area right in here, these markers from here to here, this is the area where we're changing the color, okay? And then from this marker to this marker, this is the graduation zone where it kind of feathers off this way into reds and yellows, and it feathers off from blues to magentas this way up to this marker. Now these markers can be moved, this feathering zone can be moved to the left or the right. Either one of these can be moved, these feathering zones, and this area, where we're actually affecting the color, these markers can be moved as well. You can even move sections in here. I'll do another video on that. Today, I don't need to do that. And a lot of times you don't have to adjust those, but if you do, it's handy to know that you can do some adjustments here. So I just wanted to point that out. But again, we've come from here and went to here, and now we're gonna move on to the next example. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab a hue saturation adjustment layer. With the eyedropper tool, we're going to target these yellow colors in here. I'm just going to click right here. And now I'm going to alter the hue like this. And it's just that simple. Look, change it to any color that I want. Now, it's also affecting the faces, as you can see that. So let me go ahead and alter this from yellow to like this red color. And then just like on that first example I showed you, let's adjust the lightness. You know, we can lighten it up if we want to, or we could darken it down if we want to. It's, it's whatever we really prefer. And um, let's see, do I want to give it a little more? Yeah, just maybe a little bit more saturation. Now, let me go ahead and uh, instead of inverting the layer mask this time, let me just get some black paint. And I already have the black paint. If you don't have the black and white swatches here, you can type D. That's the default setting for black and white swatches. And if you type the X key, you'll, you know, you'll flip those. So make sure you have black paint. Make sure you have a brush tool, B for the brush tool. And then I'm going to simply paint this adjustment off any area that I don't want it like right in here. And I went a little overboard there, so I'll come back and fix that in off this lady's face over here, or this model's face, make sure I don't have there. And I can see a little bit of that red up in here as well. So anywhere you see any of that red tone, just paint it off, just that simply. And over here, there's a little bit of red right here, which I'm gonna take it off of there as well. Now, let me go ahead and zoom in. Whoops, I'm zooming in here. I screwed up. I painted that right there. And what are you doing, Dave? Okay, now I'm going to go to uh, white paint and just come here and just, you know, paint this just like so. Take your time, get it right, right up to the edge, right like that. Junk, junk. And helps to make those little noises, make my brush a little smaller, and just paint this right here. Right like so. And if I get it on her skin right there a little bit, I'll just type the X key and go to the opposite color. And just paint that off just like that. Okay, so there we go. So let me zoom back out. And just like that, we've went from this to this. And again, we can change it to any color that we decide to. We want to go green, we want to go blue, less saturation, maybe lighter or darker, whatever we want, we can just alter it. And it is just that simple. Before I move on, I see I missed the spot right here. I'm just going to paint some black paint over that and get rid of that. 
And by the way, you see, I did not have to tweak any of these uh, settings down here. Everything was good. I don't mess with that unless I have to. And uh, I'll probably do another video at some point where I have to adjust those. But most of the time, you don't even have to mess with that. But sometimes you do. But look how easy that was to go from here to here. Super easy. Now let's move on to the last image where I'll change the background color instead of clothing color. Here's our last image. Let's jump right to it. Let's grab a hue saturation adjustment layer. With that targeted adjustment tool, I'm just gonna click in the yellow here and um, let's alter that color. Look at that, any color that we want. So simple and so easy. Let's change it from yellow to like, say like an orange like this, maybe not quite as saturated. Let me just pull back the saturation a little tiny bit. And that really looks good. Now here is the before. And here is the after. Now her face has changed a tiny wee bit here because there's some red in her face or some yellow in her face. And it got tinted a little bit with this hue adjustment here. So what I'm going to do is with a black brush at an opacity of about 50%, just take a little bit of that orange off her face. Not a lot because she was in an environment with a lot of yellow and her face was had a yellowish cast to it. But now I wanted to have a slight orange cast to it. So I think at 50%, if I just paint over the face and the hair right here, I'll bring that into a nice balance with the uh, environment around her. Okay. So again, here's the before, and you can see our face has a little yellowish tint to it. And now here is the after in the orange environment with a little orange tint to the face, just a slight bit. And I think it marries into the environment very well. So that's a little tip for you. Well, there you go, using the hue saturation adjustment layer to change colors in your image. It's a very powerful tool and you need to give it a try. Here was our first image. We started out here and we end up here. Here's our second example. We started out here and we end up here. It was so simple and easy to do. And here's our last example. We started out like this and now we look like this. Very simple and easy to do. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it.